And now black smoke rising into the air above Waycross, visible for miles. An intense fire at this historic five-story Bun building, and it took firefighters a long time to put it out. This is video you sent us showing the flames there and all that smoke. Firefighters tell News 4 Jax the fire started on the roof and was mostly contained there. After the fire was under control, the Sky 4 drone went over to take a look. We saw firefighters still up on the roof keeping an eye on some hot spots that kept flaring up. News reporter Eric Javier is live outside the Bun building where investigators are trying to figure out how this whole thing started, Eric. Yes, right now, fire crews are no longer on scene, but take a look at this. The city put these uh, cones out here to act as a barrier to keep people away from the structure. But even at this distance, we can still hear the water that was used to put out the fire cascading down the side of the building. Now, the battalion chief tells me that this all started on the roof of the building while a construction crew was, uh, was uh, doing some renovations up there. But for some reason, a blaze ignited and began to grow. Cell phone video captures the intensity of a fire that erupted at the top of the historic Bun building in downtown Waycross. And it was just unbelievable. And pictures sent into our newsroom capture the immense smoke that could be seen for miles. The roof was totally on fire. It was engulfed in an enormous amount of black smoke that it literally had the entire sky clouded. Roughly 50 firefighters spent close to an hour trying to put out the blaze, which was contained to the roof where investigators say it started. They had to attack the flames from ladder trucks. Because of the age of the building, because we didn't know the extent of the fire, we didn't put anybody inside. And Even after the fire was under control, Sky 4 drone video captured firefighters on the roof tending to hot spots that kept flaring up. Investigators say despite how bad the roof looks, flames did not spread to the interior of the building. This 107-year-old building had been vacant for a long time and was under renovation to eventually become affordable housing. It's one of the tallest and most recognizable buildings in Waycross. The Bun building has been a staple in downtown Waycross for so long that it was hard for many residents to see it on fire. The two on the end next to us were lawyers. Residents like Gail McQuick, who worked on the fourth floor for 22 years before the building closed, she held back tears. And it, it was a wonderful place in the building. This really means a lot to you. It does. Good memories. We run by this building, you know, three days a week, and it's just unbelievable. So it's very sad because we were looking forward to having it uh, restored. Now, the battalion chief tells me one firefighter had to be treated for heat issues here at the scene, but was able to go back to work. Meanwhile, cause of the fire still remains under investigation. Reporting live in downtown Waycross, Eric Avenier, Channel 4, The Local Station.